On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we have a supersized special for you. We've got Schleich returning to the table. Eldredor creatures, shadow robots are here. These are impressive. We've got four ice, fire, jungle, and earth robotic mechs driven by mini creatures that the squirrels would love to abscond with and take over. And then the master robot, a combination of all robot themes ready to attack Eldredor worlds. Who will win the mighty battle of the shadow robots. Impressive collection. Also mini bags of more robots to collect what is inside. An impressive supersized collection from Schleich today. Very interested and exciting to see these on the table. So let's begin and learn more about these robots of shadow. Squirrel Stampede! So we are back to a very ordinary day at the channel at the squirrel's treehouse. Not too much happening, no strangeties yet. It's quite the lovely day when... Is that an earthquake? Or did Big Gray Squirrel fall off the treehouse again? I'm standing right here, dude. It's an earthquake. Look! Over there! What is that indeed, Landry? It appears Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel has finally built his most fiercest robot. A very formidable most fierce robot. With elemental charged shoulder pads, crystal tipped arrow cannons, mighty spring loaded grip arm, an assortment quiver to hold any sharp arrow, and sharp spikes all around to latch onto Tiny Chipmunk's favorite treat, Cool Whip. This does not look good for a peaceful day with the squirrels. This does not look good for the squirrels. I think I can figure something out. Barry, one of the smartest of the squirrels, thinks he could figure something out. Right here, Bob. And Barry has also constructed a triumphant mech robot. I too have constructed a triumphant mech robot. A shadow lava robot with violent twisty fire whip, huge stompable feet, and spiky shoulder pads. Wow, that's really cool and all, but it's kind of smaller than Tiny Chipmunk's. Yes, Barry's fire mech appears to be a head shorter than Tiny Chipmunk's mech. Whereas you may build one mech, I may build multiple. Mysterious blue and white squirrel. Activate team ice is nice. Very well. Team, team ice, ice is nice. Mysterious blue and white squirrel disappears to do something interesting. A cold shadow ice robot with double icicle striking sword, grip to hold any accessory, and icy blue highlighted chest piece to identify as ice. But will two mechs be better than one? You think I'm done building robot mechs, do you? Landry, big gray squirrel, left and right. No wait, I meant your other left and right. Jeez, for being so smart, there's always issues. No kidding, Barry, come on. And more earthquakes? Wait, what? You still got the side switched. Never mind. A rock solid shadow stone robot with giant mincing rock hammer and indestructible metal butt armor. 
the elusive Shadow Jungle Robot with fierce, sharp blade of jungle. She like identification labelage on feet made in Vietnam and rotational roundy roundy arm that goes around and 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 around. And, around. and so there, all four squirrels contained mechs of pure awesomeness. Robot mechs of fire, jungle, ice, and stone. So, do you not see the predicament you are in now, tiny chipmunk squirrel? Four mechs against one. We hold the greater odds. What about blueberry and strawberry? Do we get mechs too, Barry? Yeah, what do you got for us, Barry? I will allow you to have another round of space acorns and bring back double-headed snake. Yay! <laughs> Well, now the battle is certainly now in the squirrel's favor. And there shall be a destructive battle. Hold on a second, the Mandalorian, who seemed to have been watching from the squirrel treehouse all along. I've been hired by some friends you may know, friends of fire. Hello. Jungle. I'm here. Ice. I'm coming. Earth. Hello. And a shadow. Coming through. These are the real owners of these mechs. You squirrels have unhonorably stolen their mechs to use for your foolish acorn battles. <laughs> and with that begins a mighty great shadow robot squirrel battle. to take my afternoon nap. Oh, never mind. It's just Grandpa Squirrel yelling at us again. Yeah, guys, we should be a little more respectful for Grandpa Squirrel. Fierce punches are thrown, explosions powerful and random, metal punches of flailing, until finally the battle winds down as the mini creatures retake their robots. At last, the squirrel incursion is over. Thank you, Mando. We're even now. Since everything seems to be settled down, would you guys like to come inside the treehouse for acorns and marmalade? Acorns and marmalade? We would love that! Let's go! And so therefore the squirrels and the shadow robots indulged themselves on acorns and marmalade. Hey, what about us? When does the effects of these space acorns go away? Guys? Guys? I want some marmalade too! Ah. All right, so in short, these Eldrador robots are absolutely terrifically fun. Let's start in short with the uh, fire and or lava. This mech designed with deep metal iron gray. We have a fire lava creature up top. You can mix and match creatures of any type inside any mech. They fit nicely with pegs inside and stand quite tall and mighty. Each mech has a weapon. This one, the fire whip of ouch. Articulation, pretty simple with these, just shoulder movement, and that's typical with Schleich, just some basic movement here or there, so you don't really need too much. But the detail is very uncanny. Then we've got the ice mech with a someone translucent ice driver there, also pegged in with a very sharp icicle sword. And you'll notice that each mech has a little detailing going on their chest to identify where they are from. This one in light blue for ice, lava, 
stone with a earth shaking quaking hammer must be friends with coal and we've got our rider up top also pegged in ready for battle it feels at times that the mechs differ in color, but I think they are all pretty much the same in color. I think it's just the color of the rider and the chest piece that kind of throws off the hint of the total plastic to make it feel a little different, but they are about the same. And then finally, jungle with a mighty jungle slicing sword and rider driver up top. Pick your favorite Eldrador world character or just collect them all. Then once the Mega Mecha battle is ensued, don't forget to check out the Master Robot. So the Master Robot, not only a head taller than all the standard Shadow Robots, it's much more wider and armed and ready for everything. On one handle, like I said before, we've got a closable spring-loaded arm for gripping on to anything. Looks like we can rotate that too. On this arm, we've got a projectile arrow cannon, currently loaded with lava, to fire place into cannon, aim at your target, and fire away. Looking for more arrows? Check no further than on the back. We have a dart to represent every team. We've got earth, ice, and jungle. Also, some really nice effects on the shoulders. We've got a spike for each world. There's fire, ice, jungle, and earth. These spikes are removable, so you can mix and match and move them about your robot to decorate how you wish. Articulation with the big guy, shoulder movement, of course, and even some waist rotation. I believe those hips, though, are solidly stuck. These guys are firm Schleich creations again, so articulation, usually not the thing you need. Obviously piloted by a very Sauron-esque character the Shadow Warrior guy dude up top. And another special feature, we've got a secret chest plate to open up. And inside we can, if you wish, place these spiralish Eldrador markers inside for him to behold and closing up. It's a little tight, I can't always get all three of them in. You've got the fourth one on the front. Right now we're decorated with, I think that must be jungle. Let's take jungle off and place on maybe fire. So you can dress and mark your master robot with the Eldrador world of your choice. And there's a little more to it as well, as we can collect more mini creatures to drive about and attack. 16 mini creatures to collect and stack. We have lava, earth, ice, and jungle, and shadow to collect shadow characters, and all of these will interact with your mechs. Who's inside this one? I think I'd like to collect from fire and or shadow the most. Let's see what we can find. We'll start with fire. We found the mini creature of Burned. A cute little horned dude with one eye, arms, no articulation on these, but they can be stackable. So you take one character, they should all be roughly the same height, and then you can take other characters and slowly build up an army. The character pack figures look to be untranslucent. They are solid color, whereas the real drivers of the mechs have a little transparency. That helps you identify easier. And also inside one of these packs is a very special Oro Golden character. See what else we could find. There we have Ice Creature Merlin, kind of like a griffin with little standing pads for characters to stand on top of, very well designed. Griffins, always very interesting characters. Over here we have a Earth Creature Climber, I believe. Climber is the name there, kind of like a little rock dude with a very interesting pedestal hat so people can stand on top of. Another Griffin, already into repeat zone, but Griffin actually a character I wouldn't mind troop building. And one more, one more pack here today. Our second climber. So another climber there must have been pulling packs from a very general spot of a box, but they're quite fun. And in this situation, repeats not so bad as they are meant to stack. You can the more you can find, the more you can stack. And of course, then knock over with your shadow mechs. Sorry guys. So what an Eldrador collection I had to jump on immediately as soon as I discovered them. They're pretty fairly new, just now recently appearing on Amazon, at least on my side. I was definitely mostly drawn to the Master Robot. It is truly spectacular. All this extra color and elements and size to it. And then I was surprised to see all these other mechs involved, creating just a fantastic robotic, colorful, mechanized collection. Also in May, I believe there is another Shadow Robot to be released. It's got kind of like a purple thing. So there is another Master Robot going to be available more so towards spring-summer. What a collection, absolutely enjoyed them. 
and so that there is the Schleich Elgidor Creatures Mech Shadow Robots. What an impressive collection. These guys are here to stay. If you like today's video, please give us a squake, a squirrelibe, squamit, your favorite new shadow robot. Thanks so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. 16 mini creatures to collect. Whoa, that's a weird word. <laughs> ah, finally, let's go get some acorns and some marmalade. Hey, I haven't been paid yet. Guys? Guys, I'd like to get my money back. Hey, it took a lot of resources for this battle. It took some of my time. Some of my time away from Mandalore. I really, I really could use some payment. Hey guys. Guys. Hey guys. Could, could I get, could I get some acorns and marmalade too? I, I, I would like some acorns and marmalade. Yeah, I, I could use that. I could possibly use that to trade for some Beskar armor. Yeah. Anybody? Is anybody listening? Guys, I still haven't been paid. I really could use that money. I, I have some serious issues. I have a child to watch. And I, my ship isn't the best. And I, I, and I gotta like redeem myself a hundred times over. Hey, guys, anything? It, just one acorn. Maybe a little marmalade on that top. No? No? Oh, okay. Uh.